One of the biggest complaints in the gun industry, especially from dudes like me, is the lack of innovation. Can the pivot from Trailblazer Firearms be the gun to solve that problem and showcase some true innovation? Can it be the trophy wife the gun industry needs right now? Five minute gun review, go. The build quality on this one is surprisingly good. Oftentimes when guns have a party trick like this, the lockup can be as sloppy as a high school kegger. This one is more like a wine country soiree. The spinning mech is really tight and even squeaks a little bit while being rotated around. The lockup is really solid and even feels like the gun was never spun around in the first place. The finish is excellent. The stock is super loosey goosey. The mags didn't always drop free What was that technique you just employed there? You just yeeted that mag? It, it was the moving the charging handle over and going. Did you? Oh, you had it. De the, the. I had this over. And the magazine released. Oh. Yeah. And the safety is too small for the gun. We did have an issue with the gun double firing with heavy subsonic rounds early on, but we sent it back and got it fixed in a matter of days. That just bump fired. Is that two? Yep. All right, we're having some issues with this doubling up. This is 147 grain ammo from Minuteman Munitions. I'm giving this a four out of five party spinners for quality. Hey, Range John. Oh, hey, Studio John. Have you ever heard of the Mag Shack? I think I heard about them in a TGC video one time. You should probably know about the Mag Shack. Oh, yeah. Why? Well, the Mag Shack does what the Mag Shack does, and you might need to know about the Mag Shack. Oh, you're being weird because of YouTube nonsense, aren't you? Yep. All right, I will look into the Mag Shack for sure. As far as ergos go, this gun is like a kid trying to get permission to eat a snack at bedtime. It means well, but it's not right. The stock has to fold around under the forend, and therefore it's too low to get a good cheek weld if you mount an optic on the gun. The forend can't have any sort of grip added or it will interfere with the rotation of the gun. The grip is meant to hold 15 round mags, but as far as I can see, there's no reason not to make it larger and hold 17 round mags flush. It was almost too small for my hand. The mag release, because it's based off of mags in the grip, is awkward to reach. The gun is 100% built around this party trick. Two out of five drunk white women for ergos. In terms of features, this gun is not lacking. As the name implies, it pivots a bit like a politician to be put away into smaller places. It has M-lock slots up front, the forward charging handle that you can slap, a nice flat trigger, although it's not the lightest out there, and a stock that can be sort of yanked into place and holds a mag. The only thing I haven't mentioned yet is that the gun doesn't have a last round bolt hold open. That is nonsense, absolute nonsense for a gun with this price tag. And then beyond that, it is very gassy when you shoot it suppressed. <laughs> I was gonna give it a four, but I have to knock that back because of the negatives to three out of five charcuterie boards for features. Order this charcuterie board. <laughs> Coochie! I'll be honest with you guys. None of the groups that I shot with this gun at 50 yards were impressive in any way. They don't make any promises about accuracy for this gun, but it's certainly not putting down tight groups, suppressed or unsuppressed. That's my first group. There's a fist with the pivot at about 50. This was my second group. That's sort of mixed results, not great. We're gonna try it with a can, see how it does. Okay, so I came up to the targets and I was aiming here and there are no clean new hits, which means throwing that particular JK armament can on there did not do this gun any favors. Two out of five broken wine glasses for accuracy. Honestly, I expected more for accuracy. For the MSRP of almost 1,800 bones, this thing is on the high end of things. Some might call it a bougie gun at that, and for my money, this was a letdown. It's got a rock solid lockup, it's built really well, but the negatives I mentioned far outweigh the party trick, which really only applies when the gun is being stored. The usability is just not as good as other pistol caliber guns, so I'm giving it a two out of five divorce letters for value.
And that brings the total to 13 out of 25, one of the lowest scores we've had yet. I really wanted to like this thing, and while it's not a total pile of crap, it doesn't rise above like the price point may suggest.